Hi, welcome back to Learn Me Some English's Daily News Podcast 91. Today's article, Wisdom Doesn't Come With Age, Science Says. My name is Jean Meesom. You can find me at www.learnmeesomenglish.com. You can find this article and many more of the same at www.engoo.com. Today, I'm going to give you the vocabulary necessary to help you completely understand the article. I'm going to then read the article and in the end, give you some comprehension questions. Now, I would like you to stop and make your own sentences with each vocabulary word if you can, as well as that stop and answer the comprehension questions as you can. Okay, let's get started with today's vocabulary. One, Trump. Verb, to surpass someone or something. My boss believes that experience trumps qualifications. Two, cornerstone noun, a feature or quality on which something depends or is based. The cornerstone of our business is customer satisfaction. Three, cognitive adjective, relating to the process of thinking and understanding. Sensory play is important for children's cognitive development. Four, glean, to collect over time. Their house is filled with objects gleaned from antique stores around the world. Five, legitimate, adjective, valid or having a justification. She raised legitimate concerns about the project. Six, muddled, adjective confused or not clear or in order. His instructions were really muddled, so I wasn't sure what to do. Now for the article. The title of today's article, Wisdom Doesn't Come With Age, Science Says. When you imagine someone very wise, you likely picture someone very old. But does wisdom truly come with age? Probably not. Wisdom researcher Judith Gluck writes in Current Opinion in Psychology, not all old people are wise, which suggests that something else must trump life experience. But first, what is wisdom? It's difficult to define, and we've only recently begun to truly study it scientifically. So-called developmental models identify experience as the cornerstone of wisdom but other models focus on cognitive ability or even personality. Developmental models say what we glean from experience depends on us, on how we face uncertain situations and how open we are to reflection, learning and interpersonal connection. Cognitive models focus on wise thinking, including awareness of the limitations of our own knowledge as well as awareness that others might have different but legitimate perspectives. And personality-based models look at people with deep connections to others, a strong sense of meaning and inner peace, and a willingness to question their own beliefs. All of these models have been used to examine the connection between wisdom and age, and the results, as Gluck writes, are muddled. One cognitive study found that wisdom mostly increases with age. Another found that it's highest when very young and when very old. And still another found that age has little connection with wisdom above age 25. Meanwhile, personality-based studies have found that wisdom decreases with age or that it's unrelated to age or that it's highest in middle age. Developmental results have also found wisdom to be the highest in middle age. As Gluck writes, the results depend entirely on which aspect of wisdom you measure. And while wisdom may come from experience, it may simultaneously diminish as our minds decline in old age. Gluck says future research should simply focus on finding ways to help people develop wisdom in all stages of life. We should also more thoroughly study how wisdom is defined and encouraged in different cultures. 
enabling everyone to make better decisions, both as individuals and as a species. Now for the comprehension questions. One, what are your thoughts on the idea that wisdom doesn't come with age? Two, how does your culture view the connection between age and wisdom? Three, how would you personally define wisdom? Four, would you say you're wiser now than you were 10 years ago? Five, who is the wisest person you know? Why do you consider them wise? I hope you enjoyed today's article. Again, my name is Jean Meesom. You can find me at www.learnmeesomenglish.com. I put out these daily news articles in English Monday to Friday. Thanks for listening, and I hope to see you again next time. Bye.